something I've been thinking about today. I heard someone say yesterday uh, at Bible study, um, they made the statement that the early believers would call Jesus, the God they serve, as the God of everything. And I did a little search to, to conclude that that was not just a random thought, but it, it, uh, history does bear that out. I would have studied it more if I wasn't sharing it now. Jesus is the God of everything. And, and the significance of that understanding and declaration is that in the day of the early church, the Roman Empire worshipped many gods. You read of Paul going to Mars Hill, and he saw these gods that were for all manner of things. In fact, he even found a statue that was erected to the unknown god. Uh, in, in, in ancient history, and even today, we find this to be true, uh, people worshipped gods of fertility, gods of harvest, gods of the river, gods of the moon, gods of the sun, uh, all manner of different deities, and they would worship them, all of them, some would have multiple deities. It is said that in uh, Hinduism, they have 330 billion different deities. Now, I don't know who counted them. Who can count that high? But let's just say they have a lot of gods. For everything under the sun, everything on the earth, everything under the earth. Just, just they have multiplicity of deities. And, and so the declaration was offensive to the Roman world. When they were essentially declaring that their God of the sun, their God uh, of the moon, uh, was of no need because one God, is the God of everything. And, and I, I, I heard that and I've been meditating on the idea that, that it is God's intent in His declaration to us, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. There is one God, one Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. There is but one God. And, and no doubt there are many people that uh, can't fully explain, but the scripture explains to us the mystery. God was manifest in the flesh. Uh, John chapter 1 says that the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld the, gl the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Colossians says, uh, speaking of Jesus, for in him dwelled all the fullness of the Godhead, bodily there's one God and he's the God of everything and we are complete in that one God who is above all through all and in you all amen he is the he is the it says in Colossians that he is the uh, all, he is that he has all power he has all authority that there is only one name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved that at the name of Jesus every Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The revelation to understand that Jesus Christ is Lord may lose some meaning to us today in the Western world, but to the Jewish mind, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. When the Jews understood that Jesus was the one Lord, the one Lord in Jehovah was the same one Lord in Jesus. Jehovah was concealed in the Old Testament, but Jehovah was revealed in Jesus in the New Testament. When you see Jesus, you've seen the Father. He's the God of everything. He's the God of my salvation. He's the God of my provision. He's the God of my healing. He's the God of my direction. He's the God of my protection. Amen. He's, he's God. He's God alone. There is no other God. There is no God beside me, the Lord declares. I know not other, know any other Savior. He is the God of everything. 
singularity is a word that uh, is common, and, and many people uh, term the singularity in that, 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 that what they call the Big Bang, that, that everything sprang from nothing. And, and they're off a little bit. Everything sprang from someone. <laughs> it all came from God. In the beginning, God, in His singularity, declared the Word, and there was light. The God of everything, light and, 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 and darkness. God is the God of, of the land and the sea. He's the God of the, of, 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 of the stars and the moon. He's the God of, what is He? He's the God of, He's the, he's the God of everything. And so when you understand this, this singular focus to know that, that there's just one God to turn to. We don't, we don't have to find you know, some special saint that's a saint for the sailors if you're on a boat. You, you don't need to find a saint that's a saint for the bricklayers or a saint that's a saint for the policemen. Amen. All you need is Jesus. Jesus is, <laughs> he is the God of everything. Amen. I don't have to go to a priest and confess my sins and that priest tell me uh, uh, the, the penance I need to pay or how many Hail Marys I need to pray or how many uh, Our Fathers I need to pray. I can go straight to Jesus who is the propitiation for our sins and not for our sins only but for the sins of the, the whole world. One God died to save the whole world. And, and you and I have an opportunity to properly honor this all-encompassing deity, the creator of all things, that by him all things exist. <laughs> he holds everything together by the power of his word. And how we honor the God of everything is he expects us to give him everything. That's what Brother Nate said earlier. That he, he expects all of us. That's, that's why it says in De Deuteronomy 6 and 5, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with, with, everybody say all, with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your might. It's the body, the soul, and the spirit, all that you are. I, I, I am a, I have three realities. I have my body. Amen. I, I, I have my soul, and I have my spirit. And we manifest those three things and they, they interplay and, and connect to each other. But I'm one man. Amen. I have a body, I have a soul, and I have a spirit. But my name is Scott Phillips. <laughs> Amen. And I, I'm, 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 I, I, I have one God. And the name of the one God is Jesus Christ. And He is the Lord of all. And He must he expects, He demands us to serve Him with all of ourselves. He is the God of everything. And when I say He's the God of everything, He's the God of all, every part of me. So in my search, I found something interesting. I typed in the God of everything, and it popped up that there is a goddess that is involved in witchcraft, and she is known as the goddess of everything else. And I thought that is so on point. Because ultimately, when we withhold our all, we are inviting into our life darkness. The Lord said, if your eye be single, your body is full of light. But if your eye be divided, great darkness is there. Think about that. What, what a revelation. It's, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So the greatest thing you can do, Brother Nate... Uh, 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 said it so well, the best decision a person will ever make is when they finally cease to divide their devotion and divide their focus and divide their allegiance and to serve Jehovah only. To serve Jesus alone. That's where we will find peace. I was, I was uh, communicating this and sharing this this afternoon driving back from the Delta and uh, Brother Frank Jordan and I were talking, and, and, uh, and I was telling him, 
I was, I was thinking about the scripture that says uh, that we are dead and our life is hid with Christ in God. And everything that you give to the Lord, it comes up underneath His protection. <clears throat> uh, like like the, the Passover, the blood of the Passover lamb was placed on the doorpost and the lintel. And He said, be sure everybody's in the house. Because everybody's in the house will be passed over from the curse. So if you, ha- if you knew the Lord said, everything in the house will be blessed and not cursed. How much stuff, how many people are you going to pull in your house? Hey, baby, I know I, I don't make an insistence, but you got to be in the house tonight. Before it gets dark, you, you got to be in the house. I know sometimes we, uh, we, 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 we may soft pedal stuff. Well, I, I, you know, I know you might have something better to do. and you know, I, I, I don't want to impose anything on you, but, but I guarantee you there were some mamas saying, hey, hey buddy, <laughs> you're going to get in the house. Because that Passover came over, and it, and it, it, the Lord said before it even happened that it would be an eternal, uh, forever covenant that they would remember. Before the Passover happened, he said, you're going to be celebrating what I'm about to do for as long as there is a Jew. And we're 4,000 years removed, and the Jews are still eating the, the, the bitter herbs, and they're still eating the, the leavened bread, remembering Man, I feel the Holy Ghost here. Now, I don't know I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but I believe the Lord wants you to know you just need to pull it all in the house. You need to pull it all in the house, and you need to, you need to go ahead and plead the blood and whatever and just say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, with your help. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what's going to happen when the Passover comes, when, the, when, when trouble comes, and, and, and when the curse comes, but I am persuaded that everything in the house is going to be under the protection and the covenant of the God of everything. I'm going to pull everything in the house come on somebody can we just praise the Lord in the name of Jesus Lord I pray that we would have illuminated in our heart and our mind anything that may uh, that we may have outside of outside the wall Lord let us pull it all and and offer it as a sacrifice offer it as a as an uh, oblation offer it as a worship offer it Lord God as a commitment offer it within the covenant Lord that we have with you that you are the God of everything and you are the God of my. You are the God of my. Say it with me. You are the God of my everything. My everything. Mm, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I don't want to leave a door open that would give access to the, to the destroyer into my life. I, I, I want to I close the door. I want to seal the windows. <laughs> I, I want to I want to I want to I want to I want a bomb proof shelter. And I'm telling you, when your life is hid with Christ in God, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, <laughs> we shall also appear with him in glory. <laughs> oh my. Amen. I, 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 to be hid in Christ. I had a scripture. I, I was. Gonna, I'd, I'd. I'd read it to you. I didn't quote. I couldn't. Didn't memorize it. But the scripture says essentially that 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 when we are in Christ, we get credit for His righteousness. That when we, when when we reach heaven, it will not be our own righteousness that will testify of us. It will be. <laughs> oh God. Amen. He's the God of my failures. <laughs> He's a God of my mistakes because it's all under the blood. And, and, and John says, I write unto you children that you sin not. Amen. I'll say that as your pastor. Don't sin. Amen. Avoid those things that are, don't make provision for the flesh. I write unto you, I, I preach to you, I implore you, I beg you, don't sin. Whatever that sin is, don't do it. But I love that he didn't leave it there. He said, but if you sin, <laughs> we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Amen. <laughs> he says, uh, confess your sins to Him. And He is faithful and just to... Can we give the Lord praise? You are my God. You are the God of everything and you are the God of my everything. 
And all the church said amen. Amen. I, could pr- I, I think with a little bit of study, I could preach that for a little while. I probably could still, but I, I'm, I'm not going to wear you out tonight. Jesus be the Lord of all. Jesus be the Lord of all. Jesus be the Lord of all. The kingdoms of my heart. Jesus, I surrender all. Jesus, I surrender all. Jesus, I surrender all. The kingdoms of my heart. Jesus, be. If you know it, sing with the Lord of all, Jesus be the Lord of all, Jesus be the Lord of all, the kingdoms of 